Hi guys, today we are going to learn how to install the TDI ARMS X47 uh, rail system. Uh, it consists of basically three parts. You have a lower handguard, you have an upper portion, and then uh, you can add that dovetail which goes over the dust cover and hinges to the lower handguard and uh, provides the platform to mount the optic over the dust cover. Uh, I have already disassembled the clone AK-74 uh, Bulgarian rifle and uh, we're going to proceed with the installation. Tools required for today's installation of X-47 rail are very simple. All you need is a simple uh, bit driver and uh, bit piece. Uh, it's a size 3.0. So that's all you need for today. I know a lot of you will be disappointed there is no hammer, uh, but this is extremely simple, simple installation. So let's, uh, let's move forward to the installing that rail and uh, see what we can do. Basically the first step, what you want to do is take the lower handguard, slide in over the receiver, and it doesn't matter if you have a stampet or milled receiver, uh, it works with both, so that rail, is, that rail is very, very universal. And now you will take your front handguard retention bracket and try to slide in to the opening inside the lower handguard or lower rail. Basically, all you gotta do is it should slide in freely and it goes kind of inside, just like this. See, guys? Now, at this point, it is advised that you can even lock the locking lever, lever on it, it doesn't really matter. So you hold the, the front retention bracket in position so it doesn't move uh, any way from, from this point. Now take your bit driver and basically you will see this screw, this is the lower tension screw which clamps rail to the receiver. All we gotta do is tighten up. just like this and then on the top you have another tension screw which clamps the receiver to the front retention bracket uh, provides the tension and it secures the lower handguard in place and the same procedure just tighten it up you will feel resistance there you go snug it nicely and uh, at this point the rail shouldn't be moving at all the lower portion of the rail so try it with your hand everything uh, looks secure so this is how it looks with the installation of the lower portion of the rail uh, at this point it's up to you what you want to do uh, if you want to use let's say the ultimac top uh, you can put the ultimac on it and uh, that rail works with the ultimac of course, I would advise to uh, add the clamps for the Ultimac uh, slide in over the barrel before putting the lower portion of the X47 or you can just use the standard gas tube. Uh, it's really up to you. It works with, uh, with everything. So it works with the railed uh, tops or uh, it works with the standard gas tubes uh, on uh, all the rifles. For today's installation, are we going to stick to the standard gas tube? Uh, basically reattach the gas tube to the rifle, make sure it locks in, lock the locking lever in the rear and at this point you can take the upper hand guard and attach it to the lower portion of the rail, it basically slides in, uh, now all you have to do is you have a four screws and uh, with these four screws hit the holes and uh, put them back together just like this and using the tool so uh, what I highly advise as always with uh, AK and any type of screws basically before twisting in make sure you have some blue Loctite if you know that you're going to stay with this setup Add some Loctite to the screws, to the threads, not too much because you don't want to clog it for the later on. But just add a little bit Loctite to the screws. Just tap it. 
okay and then you can start reattaching these to the slots nothing complicated the holes are lining up perfectly just twist them in one by one so after securing all four screws of the upper handguard to the lower handguard this is how it should look like it uh, at this point you can take our El Cheapo Walmart uh, painters marker and uh, paint over the screws mark their position so you know if they are moving from the re recoil or not but uh, with the Loctite and uh, how snugly they are already sitting in the holes I, I think so that you're not going to have any problems we have run that rail extensively and uh, I never had a problem with the upper portion of the rail um, going loose so at this point uh, you have a choice you can basically stop uh, assemble the rifle and run, run the rifle with the uh, front handguards installed only or you can add that uh, third piece which is a dovetail for mounting the optic over the dust cover so we're going to do this exactly right now and I'm going to proceed with the installation what you want to do is you want to slide in these two prongs inside and these two uh, are going outside so this is going inside inside outside outside and basically to do this the best way is to move the rear side away get it get it away from maneuver your upper piece to slide in and now all we gotta do is make sure that uh, these outside brackets are sliding over the rail there you go just like this so that's how it should look like it make sure the holes are lining up and we're going to proceed with installing the uh, whole system with the four little screws make sure you got the Loctite on those just like before basically tighten the screws and uh, we'll go from there and make sure all the screws are locked in the position tighten them up get to the other side and uh, they all should be secured at this point again you can use the magic marker label the screws mark the screws position for the reference uh, but it's up to you if you don't want to do it don't do it okay so we do have lower handguard upper handguard and our dovetail piece installed all you have to do is assemble the rifle right now slide in piston bolt carrier put the spring back to position and add the dust cover just, you gotta hit that slot there you go pow and uh, this is how it's looking like our rifle right now after the installation uh, as you could see with this rifle there is no problem with uh, removing the dust cover or uh, moving uh, or disassemble field strip field stripping the rifle however I had a Saiga with the M4 adapter and because of that adapter uh, it's it's very very difficult uh, but as you could see with the regular a case you're not going to have any problems with a field stripping the rifle you shouldn't have any uh, problems so all is left right now is putting back the cleaning rod and attaching the muzzle brake and this is how the rifle is looking like guys as you can see you can fit in your cleaning rod through the holes in the rail and uh, all looks uh, very natural and works perfectly uh, I have to say that this is very very flexible rail system uh, it, as I said it mounts on a stampet or on the millet receivers uh, I had no problem fitting that rail on a C39 with the exception of the upper portion uh, but the lower portion fits in and locks into the C39 uh, very nicely or to any other millet, millet receiver and with the regular AKs with the regular milled receivers you can install the top portion and dovetail as well that's it uh, let me know if you have any questions either underneath of that video or through our facebook thanks for watching